bunch of young people over there, including uh, Jerry Castaldo and all kinds of... Uh, over there on the end is a young man. We did our salute to uh, Brooklyn with the borough president, and I would say 9,000 Brooklynites said to me, Joe, you left out Brooklyn's favorite son, Jerry Castaldo. Jerry wants to invite me to uh, a movie, but Jerry, uh, uh, growing up in Brooklyn and all your fans out there... How old are you about, Jerry? 24 years old. You look like Rudolph Valentino a little bit, you know. That, oh, uh, thank you. You could, uh, you could play his part, right? What do you want to say about growing up in Brooklyn, and what, uh, what is the fascination of that borough for you? Well, uh, being born in the section of uh, Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, I think uh, a performer learns to deal very much with uh, people on a faster level, therefore preparing you, in a way, for show business. And what I'm doing now is basically singing around the clubs in Manhattan. And I have a film that'll be screened at the uh, Museum of Modern Art. That's the big invitation. What is it called, Jerry? It's called Escape by Moonlight. Escape by Moonlight. Right. And you're the lead? Yes, I have the leading male role. And I also star with uh, Marlene Marcus. It was directed by Michael Costanza. And it's a very sort of a, a bizarre film in the Alfred Hitchcock genre. I like that speaking voice. I love it. Escape by Moonlight. Right. And Jerry Costaldo got a good review opening for David Brenner. He's a funny guy. Yeah, he is. That was out in uh, Pips, which is also in Brooklyn, out in Sheepshead Bay. Well, well, you're here today for your Brooklyn friends. Okay, Bensonhurst. It's uh, basically an Italian neighborhood. Right. Okay, and I just finished a um, concert out there August 9th for the Brooklyn Arts and Cultural Association, uh, produced by Chuck Reichendahl. And we also did one out at Canarsie Pier, August 23rd, uh, August 20th, excuse me. Now, he'll be opening at uh, Caroline's in October? Sometime in October uh, for opening act for uh, Jerry Seinfeld. And Escape by Moonlight will be screened at the Museum of Modern Art. Right, sometime next month. That's a good title. Jerry, sit with me and meet some nice people. There's a young man who has just uh, come into the headlines, longtime friend of mine, does about a thousand benefits a year for me, Jerry, uh, Sam Tacky as uh, the uh, world's champion fire eater and glass eater. It can't be a bad diet, right, Sam? <laughs> no, not at all. So instead of Sam <laughs> doing it live, we decided to show a photograph. And as I show the photograph, Sam, you got to tell the whole countryside what motivates a man to want to be the world's champion fire eater and glass eater. Sam Tacky has opened up fests 8,000 times, Jerry. 8,000 times he's eaten fire and glass, and I can say... Uh, don't breathe on me because my hair. <laughs> what do you say, Jerry? How does his dentist feel? Well, about actually, <laughs> actually, um, through the divine sense, I've never been to dentist, and uh, I have checked out once while I was studying English in high school, and uh, they, they didn't find anything wrong with my teeth, and uh, I have perfect teeth up to now. And uh, with this teeth you see over there, they're not just regular teeth, they do, they do a lot actually you know it's amazing that uh yes. such a <laughs> but don't advise too many people to do it. i want sam tacky and jerry costello to meet brian bloom also in the headlines but i don't like what they say in the headline the next john travolta sam. I, I like and for jerry following these words my friends i've got a surprise of surprises Okay, I promised uh, Jerry Castaldo, and okay, I promised you a little bit of a surprise. And one of my best friends has just assumed the uh, starring or co-starring role in one of the biggest shows in uh, modern uh, Broadway history. And it's called Brighton Beach Memoirs. And the young man's name is Fisher Stevens. Fisher, Hi, how shake you doing? And say it's a pleasure. How's it going? I did Tort Song Trilogy, and uh, I started in that off-Broadway about uh, in March of '82, and I hadn't done much. I'd done a lot of theater and. A horror film and you know working with Harvey and all and Estelle and you went into a play where a role was created by a young man who won the Tony Award yeah who's been here many times and his father's late father was a dear friend of mine and the young man's name is Matthew Broderick, Broderick right so the obvious is uh, did, did you sit in the audience watching him or was Neil Simon around to Sam suggest Taki, Jerry Costello what do you want to say about Broadway's uh, hot young leading man Brian? Congratulations. <laughs> well, thanks. You guys seem to be doing really well. Fisher? Yeah. The man who eats glass, eats fire? That's that's not for us, right? Well, I don't know. You know, I, I kind of, I really kind of interesting. interested in this. Well, I, I'd kind of like to learn this. Well, actually, it's something not for everybody. And uh, if uh, you don't have the spiritual touch or the spiritual background, I won't advise you to uh, 
even try because it's dangerous. Uh -huh. <laughs> you can't get hurt.